Thank you so much for joining me today as I welcome you to the telecast of Open Heavens Reflections. And as you know, we do take our reflections from the Open Heavens Daily Guide written by Pastor E. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Patrick Tolani. I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. The topic we are looking at today is take this right. Take this right. The Bible passage is Proverbs 11, 24 to 26. That is one who scatters, yet increases more. And that is one who withholds more than is right, or at least to poverty. The general soul will be made rich, and new waters will also be watered himself. The people will curse him, who withholds grain, but blessing will be on the head of him who sells it. Memory verse, Proverbs 11, 25, the general soul will be made rich, and new waters will also be watered himself. Let's have a reflection. Life is filled with choices, choices that affect us on an everyday basis in everything we do, which means our everyday choices are not without significance. Our choices affect us and others in dramatic ways, whether we see it immediately or not. While earth remains, no man will mock God by changing for even one time this law of harvest. Ephesians 5, 15 to 18. Therefore be careful how you work, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of your time, because the days are evil. So then, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is, and do not get drunk with wine, for that is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit. Psalm 90, verse 12 says, So teach us to number our days, that we may present to thee a heart of wisdom, why do we need wisdom? So we can make wise choices. Stop and think about this. All life comes from antecedent life, from the labor and sowing of others. What we reap was planted either naturally or purposely, either by God or by man. And for either positive or for negative result, we reap the fruit of much for which we have extended no labor because we enter into the labor of others, either for good or for bad. In other words, this law of the harvest, we reap only what has been sown. And it could be both positive or on the negative side. It is wisdom to know how to sow and be liberal with what we have. Some believe that if the route to poverty can be untruthfulness, then they can follow that route. But that's not the truth. By sowing, it is possible to invoke blessings and to become the person you never thought you could be. Show generosity to others. Don't hold on too much to things because according to our Bible passage of today, that tends to poverty. The Lord will surely show you his generosity and visit you with his favor this year in the name of Jesus. Action point. The price you pay to ride a flight by favor through sowing seed is far cheaper than what you have to pay through labor. The good Lord bless you and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.